The junk bond market is sending out a major signal for stocks right now. I'll discuss in a minute why I think this relationship exists, but let's just first put up a chart and show how this relationship works. So here is the chart. The Dow is on top. That's the black line. The blue line is the yield on double B rated corporate bonds. So this is a tranche of junk bonds that is highly sensitive to interest rates. The scale is inverted here. So as the blue line moves lower, yields are actually rising. And if we pop on these arrows, notice that junk bonds topped about six months before the Dow. Remember, that's a bottom in yields, and those yields have been rising. Now, this is important because this same tranche of bonds topped ahead of the Dow back in 2020. Here's the arrows showing those respective peaks. Again, bonds topped, and remember, that's a low in yields then the Dow topped, and then stocks crashed as yields accelerated higher. Now, there's an interesting nuance. January this year, it wasn't just a bad month for these bonds. It was the worst January ever for this tranche of debt. For whatever reason, January tends to be a good month for junk bonds. It was a bad month this year, and there were only two other times in 22 years that these bonds began the year with a loss. Now, just some thoughts on why this relationship exists. Keep in mind that when a company goes bankrupt, the, the junk bond investors, they tend to get wiped out just as thoroughly as equity investors. Junk bonds are essentially you know, one rung above equity in terms of the claims that investors have on a company's assets. So it, it does make sense to see uh, the trend in junk debt kind of mirror the trend in stocks. And as wave analysts, one thing we love to do when a, when a wave structure is mature, we like to go back and see how related markets behaved at similar junctures. So the divergence today is good confirmation of what we think is a highly bearish wave pattern in stocks.